Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to save images into a folder and the images path into a database in ASP.NET using C Sharp. And here we got the output. I'm choosing file. I'm selecting the image from the desktop. Before save the images, let's open my project folder. E drive. ASP.NET. The project name is the save image save image and the images and notice in this images folder right now is totally empty let's minimize this i have already chosen this image now i'm clicking save images notice here the image is saved in this folder. Notice the image name and image path both are saved in this table. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET, first we'll create the table to save the image path. I'm expanding the databases. The sample DB is my user database. I'm expanding that one. And in the tables folder, I'm creating a new table. Right click that one, new table. The column names are image ID, the data type is int, uncheck the allow nulls, image name, and varchar 250, image path. And varchar, I'm choosing max. Now, before save this table, I want to make this image ID column is identity specification S, which means it's an auto generate column now. Let's save this table image save. Click OK. Expand the tables folder, refresh this tables, and notice here dbo.image save is saved in this tables folder. Right click the image as save, select top thousand rows. Now it's time to write the coding part. Let's visit my Visual Studio. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new project under web. I'm choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework is 4.6.1 and the project name is Save Image IMG. Click OK. And I'm choosing empty templates. Click OK. And Save Image Project is successfully created. Go to Solution Explorer. And notice in this project there is no any web pages here because we have chosen the empty templates. Let's add one ASPX page to this project. Right click the project name, add new item and in the web section I am choosing web form and the name I am giving image save click add and here we got our image save.aspx page we just created now between the form and due tag I'm adding one upload control one button control and one literal control to display the message after uploading the images into a folder go to toolbox here the file upload control click on it and one button control and one little control
write upload images and the button name I'm giving button save the little message msg the file image save is the id name of the file upload control once we add the controls into the source page now we need a new folder in our project to save images go to solution explorer right click the project name add new folder and the folder name is images add the images folder now the second thing is we need a proper connection string to save the images into a folder and the image path into a database so for that we need a data source connection string of the SQL server database go to server explorer right click the data connections add connection after adding the server name I'm selecting the database name which is sample DB test connection it succeeded click OK OK and notice here in server explorer under data connections we have added a sample dbo database connection string so if we need this sample dbo data source property right click the sample db.dbo go to properties in the properties under connections the first one is a connection string which is a data source just copy the one Go to Solution Explorer, open the web.config file. In the configuration, connection strings, add my connection string add name is equals to my connection connection string just paste that data source here provider name the provider name is a SQL server so I am adding here the namespace system dot data dot SQL small one C capital client SQL client after adding the connection strings in the web.config file again switch back to the source page uh, here I forgot change my text button control save images go to design mode double click the save images button and here the button click event on my coding page now first thing I'm importing the namespaces to access the SQL server classes using system.data using system.data.sql client using system.configuration and the last namespace I'm adding to upload the files I need IO namespace using system.io after adding the namespaces now in the button click event if file image save which is my upload control id dot posted file is not equals to null string image file is equals to path dot get file name method in this I'm adding my image file image save dot Posted file dot file name file image save dot save as between double quotes images folder plus image file 
string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding my connection string name which is my connection add here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes a parameter of this main con SQL con I am opening the connection method string SQL query is equals to now between these double quotes I am adding the insert statement insert into the table name is dbo.save image save this one copy that one and paste here and the column names are image name and image path copy these both paste here values at image name comma at image path after that SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is this SQL query the statement and the second one is the SQL connection so I have to add this the object name SQL command dot parameters dot add with the value between double quotes add this one at image name comma the object value is the image file semicolon enter SQL com dot parameters dot add with value between double quotes now this time I'm adding this image path comma now the second parameter is this one copy this whole thing paste here SQL com dot execute non query method after that after save the images into a folder and the path is stored in the database table I want to get the message on the browser for that I'm using the literal message control dot text is equals to image and path saved successfully SQL con dot close method I'm closing the connection string else if it's failed to save the image and path I want to get the message not saved successfully that's it now it's result time let's open the Google Chrome we'll save the images into this images folder and the image path will save in the database table Google Chrome and here we got the output I'm choosing file I'm selecting the image from the desktop before save the images let's open my project folder e drive asp.net the project name is the save image save image and the images and notice in this images folder right now is totally empty let's minimize this I 
I have already chosen this image. Now I'm clicking save images. Notice here the image has saved in this folder. Notice the image name and image path both are saved in this table. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.